from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good Tuesday evening, Center County. I'm student meteorologist Christopher Tate here with your CNET forecast. Bit of a cloudy day across central Pennsylvania today. That's because they have a weak storm system making its way across the region and it's bringing widespread cloud cover and a little bit of precipitation. Thankfully, though, to areas that really need it to help alleviate some of the drought that we've had in the past couple of weeks. Here in State College, the temperature is currently 64 degrees with a dew point of about 55, so it is feeling ever so slightly on the humid side as you step out the door this afternoon. That will change as we head into the next day or two. Temperatures across the rest of central Pennsylvania, you can see a pretty decent temperature gradient, 75 in Harrisburg, meanwhile just 58 degrees in Dubois this afternoon. And as you head farther into the northwest corner of the state, you can see some low 50s and even some upper 40s, those blue colors stretching across the northern tier, Philadelphia even struggling to break out of the 60s this afternoon. Radar and satellite does show the existence of those light showers that have just kind of been drifting across the state slowly today, and a lot of cloud cover, especially in the western two-thirds of the state and the northern half of the state. All of that's associated with a pretty expansive storm system that's covering a lot of the Midwest and is bringing parts of snow to uh, the northern plains today. Minneapolis observing for the second or third time this season some snowfall at the surface. We have no snowfall to worry about back here at home as we head through the rest of tonight. Clouds will be on the decrease as we head into the wee hours of Wednesday morning. We may have a little bit of valley fog to deal with as we begin the day on Wednesday, so do keep an eye out for that if you're going to be out heading to work or to classes in the, say, 6 to maybe 9 or 10 a.m. hours on Wednesday. That fog will quickly dissipate. And with a southerly wind, we'll be able to warm up pretty nicely. This computer model getting us into the mid, maybe even upper 70s in some spots before a weak front will brush across the state. If we do see any precipitation from that, I expect it will be fairly light and fairly isolated in nature. Thursday starts much the same way as Wednesday, though a touch cooler with some patchy valley fog here in Center County. More widespread fog as you head off into the north central part of the state, especially north of Williamsport, as you can see on that computer model. Thursday itself should be a fairly nice day with few clouds in the area and a southerly flow helping us get into the 70s once again, and it will be a fairly nice end to the day on Thursday. Clouds will be begin to build in on Friday, and that will be in advance of the next storm system that's going to brush across the state. I'll detail that in a seven-day forecast in just a bit. I do want to give mention to Tropical Storm Epsilon, the 27th tropical system in the Atlantic this season, the 26th storm to be given a name. Epsilon currently has winds of 60 miles an hour and is cruising to the north-northwest at about 12 miles an hour, which is a pretty decent clip for it being in open water. Now, as we head through the next couple of days, Bermuda was originally inside the forecast cone from the National Hurricane Center. Thankfully, the forecast track has shifted eastward, and now Bermuda will only have to deal with the rough surf that Epsilon will kick up, and parts of the east coast may see uh, some increased rip currents as a result of Epsilon as it continues generally northward over the next several days and into the weekend and strengthening to a Category 1 storm by the time we get through the end of this week. Tonight, not very much to worry about here in Happy Valley. 54 degrees for your overnight low under mostly cloudy skies, perhaps an isolated shower or two overnight. And then tomorrow will be kind of split between uh, cloudier uh, conditions to the north, sunnier conditions to the south here in State College. I'll call it partly cloudy with a high of 75 degrees, and that's between 10 and 15 degrees above average for this time of year. Likewise for Thursday and Friday with highs still in the mid-70s, but then once that front sweeps across the area, temperatures will be knocked back down to about where we should be this time of year, between 0 and maybe 5 degrees above average for your daytime highs and fairly close to your average lows. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Christopher Tate. Have a great evening.